Joining me to discuss the work of the Chartered Institute of Credit Management is its Chief Executive, Philip King. Philip, great to see you and thank you for joining me on Credit Experts. Well, clearly you offer a great deal of support to your members, but how do you prepare young people for a career in credit management? Well, early in their career, clearly, we have to provide qualifications, training and, and mentoring, which help people as they get started on the journey. But as they move through the journey, then it's important that we also provide support. So we provide advice, resources and make sure people are up to date with what they need to know. And our grade structure means that they can demonstrate their progress through the profession as they move from affiliate to associate to member and ultimately to fellow. It's important that we provide a community and that community supports people throughout their career and at every stage in their career. Well, clearly you need people at the top of their game, don't you? But people who are also totally aware of regulatory issues at play. Yes, we do. Credit decisions, if they're going to be good, are complex. Um, maintaining regulatory compliance is complex as well. Um, and it can be the difference between success or failure in a business. Having the best people who are well qualified is crucial. Better people make greater impact and have a greater impact on their business. I think one of the things you see with better people is that they continuously improve and the business continuously improves and also that they prepare the next generation of leaders so the business goes on and builds on what it's already done. So you're looking for an array of skills and I'm assuming communication is one of those key skills. All business and credit management is no different, it's between people. Reading the signs, negotiating successfully. The way we manage communication and relationships determines the outcomes we see. People who communicate well and effectively make a huge value to their business. Those who don't can do huge damage. There's a great deal of emphasis, isn't there, in, in looking for signposts for customers who are, who are vulnerable, really. Well, vulnerability is a real buzzword at the moment, and that's good because it is so important. The outcome will always be better if people, individuals or businesses that can't pay are given help and support. Vulnerability is a circumstance, and many people have something that is making them vulnerable at a particular time. Spotting that and providing the right sort of support at the right sort of time is in everyone's best interests. Philip, before you go, could you outline what types of help are available to small businesses and also your members? So we offer a lot of help. Our managing cash flow guides that we've written with government have been downloaded over 600,000 times. They provide practical tools and tips that businesses can use to manage cash more effectively. We have an advice line that is free to anybody, which is access to an array of knowledge available through members that have set themselves up to be willing to share their knowledge and expertise to support business. And our thousands of members go out of their way to support their small business customers. If they can help them make better credit decisions, if they can help them get paid more quickly, then they in turn will be paid more quickly too. And that's a win-win. Well, Philip, it's been great to talk to you today. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you.